I don't know. I mean, it's pretty cute, but. <laughs> y'all it's Haley. welcome back to my channel i've got stitch fix for you today i have two bundles which i'm guessing this guy is just too thick to go in with the other so they put him by himself um i did peek online i'm really excited about one of the shirts so we're just going to open this right up um let's see we'll start with this first um big fat bundle it is real soft Oh, it's a vest. I was thinking it was like a pullover. It's just a really fuzzy vest. It's almost purple, but it's gray. Um, oh, it's really soft. I didn't think I was going to like this, but I might. Uh, this is the Leone Wubby, Wubby <laughs> hooded vest in light gray, $68. You could wear it with a lot, so I guess the price isn't so bad. Um, it's versatile if I like it. All right, let's get into this. This is the shirt I was looking for, or the one I was excited about. Y'all, is this not me? I love this. I love, this kind of faded a little bit, but it's a really pretty forest evergreen with the gold and the kind of rust colored flowers. The embroidery at the top, it's high low. It's got a sleeve. I mean, I really want this to work out. I love that. That is the Bobby. Um, oh, the first brand of that vest was called Coffee Shop. I don't know if I said that. Um, this one is the Mason and Bell Bobby Embroidered Tie something. $44. So not bad for a shirt like that with embroidery and all of that. And it's very unique, I think. So I really like that one. Okay. This I like. It's kind of the mauves and the rose golds and the pink looking colors, but I do not like this tie at the front, y'all. That is my problem area right there in the front, and I really don't want this big like tie thing in the front saying, look at me, look at me. But it's really soft, um, and maybe it's long enough where it won't be a problem, but I'll try it on. I like it. Um, it just has kind of a regular neckline is that what you call that that is the and my battery looks like it's gone dead so hang tight um okay the nine britain aria tie front brushed knit uh top in beige and it's 42 so not bad for that one now i love the color of these pants i've been asking for a rusty orange all fall and finally she came through y'all but the problem is i saw this online it's got the distressing on it and it's like real life not pretend distressing like you're gonna see my leg through that and i just the only time that i wear colored jeans is to school to sub or to church and i'm just i'm i don't think that's appropriate to have like distressed um when you're going those places so i just i don't know i'm really bummed because i love that color i'm sure they're gonna like be amazing and i'll keep them but <laughs> I don't know. I was bummed about that. And I know distressing is in and it's so cool, but like for my purposes of wearing color jeans, it really just doesn't work for me. So that's the Wash Lab Carry Skinny Distress Jeans in orange, um, $88. That's pricey. And I just threw my sheet down and I have one more thing to show you. Can Can Jeans, y'all. I've never tried Can Can Jeans. I'm super excited to try these. Um, I asked for a flare. I think this is more of a boot cut. Um, I really wanted some trouser flare jeans, but that wasn't, she said she couldn't find any, so I got these. So I'm excited to try these nonetheless. Um, just kind of a medium wash, no distressing. I had some Judy Blue jeans that I think were similar to these that I just had to retire because I wore the heck out of those jeans. I loved them. And so maybe this will be a good replacement for those. I don't know. We'll try them on. My battery is still going, y'all. Um, Can Can Ivy Bootcut Mid-Rise Jean in Indigo, $58. Not bad for a pair of jeans. All right, let's try some stuff on. Okay, you know the drill. Don't mind my background. I'm decorating for Christmas here. Okay, y'all. Here is the top I was so excited about. Can you tell? I feel like the color that, yes, it's such a beautiful sort of evergreen color. All right, my only qualm with it, did I just say qualm? Is it's a little short. I just wish it was... A little bit longer I don't know I do love it y'all I'm just having a little reservations about it now these pants y'all knew I was not gonna want to keep and I'm not gonna keep they're okay if they didn't have distress on them I might would consider it but I don't know I mean they're nothing special I don't really love them so 
they're going back I'm gonna go try the pants um the jeans on and that pink top all right y'all that's why they say always try everything on because I really kind of don't hate this top I don't know what do y'all think I really love the jeans um they are such a good that's a bad angle but it would look great with my jeans the way the um flare is the boot cut or whatever not jeans it was did i say boots it'll look great with my like cowboy boots and stuff um which is what i wore those other judy blue with my cowboy boots all the time that i just like totally wore out of and finally had to <laughs> throw them away but um i really like these y'all they're really good. I might just keep these jeans. I don't know. I like the top too. I almost like this better than that green one I just had on because I tried the green one on with these pants and it just looks funny because it's just too short. But I think that this is pretty cute. <laughs> Okay, last item is the vest. I just put this black kind of Henley on to go with it so you could see. I don't know. I feel like it makes me look huge and I don't know. Like, I live in Iowa. It is a frozen tundra from like November to, I don't know, April. Um, so, <laughs> I could get away with wearing this like a lot. And it is really cozy and it's got pockets. I just... <sighs> I don't know. I have things that are similar to this that I never wear because it just is so bulky and I get hot really quick. So, I don't know. I mean, it's pretty cute, but <laughs> would I wear it? I don't think so. Okay, y'all. I just don't know. I'm kind of torn with this. I'm kind of just torn with the idea of sending it all back, honestly. And now that I know that I like the can can jeans and the quality and I know what size I wear, I might just go onto like a boutique because I know they have trouser kind of like wider leg um, jeans and just order them that way since you can't get them through Stitch Fix, I guess. I don't know. Um, I've asked for trouser wide leg jeans for like a year and haven't gotten them. So I might just do that now that I know that I like the can cans. Also, the tops. Comment down below if you would keep either of the tops or which ones you like better. Um, I don't, I just, I, that happened before with one of those peasant tops that look like that. They're just too short and they just don't look well on me. Like they, they're beautiful and like the top looks good and you turn to the side and it's like, that's not so great. I don't know. So it's like if I'm gonna spend $50 on a shirt, I wanna like totally love it or else I'm not gonna wear it because I, every time I see it, I'll be like, oh, it's so short, I don't wanna wear that. Like I just got rid of a ton of stuff in my closet because of that very reason. So I don't know y'all comment below and let me know what I should do please oh my goodness I usually am like this is what I'm keeping I know what I'm doing and this one I'm just like oh I don't know I'm just kind of like mixed but anyway thanks so much for following me along sorry for being indecisive subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing y'all and we'll see you in the next one <laughs> bye